Welcome to uh, Rider Fest, and introducing here is Kamen Rider Blade, the SIC figure version uh, from Kamen Rider Blade, the series. Uh, this is the large size uh, blade uh, SIC, not the uh, Kimari, uh, the Kimari uh, Tamashi version. So uh, why do I do a rider on uh, a uh, rider fest on uh, on Blade? Well, to me, uh, Blade is actually my most favorite series of all. I know it's not actually the most well received uh, series in the in the Hanse era, but uh, for some reason, he just the series just captured my heart. And of them all. Uh, Play is among one of the best in this in the show. So enough of it. Let's talk about the figure. The figure itself is more or less a second or third generation body of uh, SIC figure. So he does got a lot more articulation compared to the original, which is basically statue with some hinge option. So reasonable leg and knee, elbow shoulder movement, double abdomen joint so you actually twist around, head can turn left and right up and down as well. It's pretty good but um, it's also been one of the SIC series body that is really really loose after you start moving the joint around as well because most of them are ball joint but they are hard PVC to hard PVC joint and they are not very good at holding Holding poles. Uh, die cast content. Uh, the buckle itself is die cast, the belt is not. Um, the arm guard on the left and right are die cast. The knee pads are die cast and they're stuck to the knee joint. And the leg part, both of them are die cast. And the one more die cast part is the blade section of the blade router. So that's more or less it for uh, for diecast content. So let's see if I can actually take some of a photo of the detail. So you can see a lot of detail on him. Blade is based on um, the the Ace of Spade, which in tarot card uh, equivalent is the um, what is it? is a sword card or the blade card, hence the weapon choice. And uh, in the series, uh, the the Ace of Spades is also the Hercule Beetle Undead, which is why he got a, her a, a single horn uh, as his head and and the element uh, and the animal motif. So, really, really nice figure. And. Because he's actually uh, the series aim at having them being um, being human with their genetic code altered uh, when using the the buckle and merge their genetic code with with the undead. I always imagine that um, the Blade series riders should have a much more uh, animalistic and more biorized um, look on the body, and it's also. It's about a story of an ancient war, so uh, I would also imagine there would be a lot more uh, artistic and medieval sort of theme on him. And I have to say, the SIC version of Blade really captures every single element of that. Um, Han, let's talk about Han. Han wise it comes with um, closed fists on both sides, one in here, one here. Um, close, uh, close holding fist. Uh, which is on here and here, and then a more loose gripping uh, hand as well, which is here, which I don't really use because I don't know what to use with it. Uh, let's talk about the blade rouser for a bit. The blade rouser, as I said before, is die cast here, which is really nice because it feels really, really heavy. But at the same time, because it's also really heavy at the tip, 
when Blade is holding it, he always flop it onto the ground. So, yeah, a bit of a problem. Uh, a cool gimmick on him, he can open and reveal all of the card holder. Very, very nice. And if you take this bit out, by the way, this is the whole bit of a die card, which is really heavy. And put this stand here, and put the blade, whoop, wrong way. Put the blade in. It looks like he had to step the blade onto the ground, onto a piece of rock, with probably uh, with blade getting ready to actually do his final attack. So that's enough about the blade. Another accessory that he uh, that blade got is this which is the absorber. It comes with a removable part which you can replace with this to simulate a blade opening up and getting the three all important card which is the jack, queen and king. And where is it? Ah, there we go. It also comes with a, another uh, arm, arm, uh, armor pieces, so you can actually mount it here. And by taking off the die cast arm guard, you can replace it with this one, so he's wearing the absorber. And if you've seen the show, when the two important cards has gone into the absorber, a plate will appear on the surface to indicate uh, the most important card is actually being inserted in this arm. So really, really cool. So that is basically it for the SIC blade. If you actually know about the toy series, I have missed out something extremely important. But as all people would say, you should leave your trump card till last.